habari habari zenu safi kabisa so eh sokoni kuko vipi siku hizi hapa sokoni hali ngumu hali ngumu bala hali ngumu sana hali ngumu bala so this is the hindu temple here in Lindi, Hindu Madir, Sanatan. <laughs> Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and today I'm joining you live from Lindi in Southeast Tanzania. Lindi is also known as the coconut capital of Tanzania due to its wide range of coconut trees in the city or town. So we're going to explore and give you an idea of what Lindi is like. It certainly has a lot of historical significance here in Tanzania. So let's explore Lindi. Karibuni Tanzania. So when you visit Lindi, if you're coming by bus, here will be one of the first places you will actually come to. This is actually known as the Lindy bus station or bus terminal. And this is where all the buses come. There's only one bus terminal in the town. And this is what it looks like. From here, you can get buses to, of course, Kilwa Masoko. You can go further on to Mtwara and also get bus back to Dar es Salaam as well. You can book your bus ticket here as well if you're going back to Dar es Salaam. So this is just a vibe of Lindi and I'll definitely tell you a little bit about the history of the town and you'll get a good idea of the place. So I appreciate your time for coming and watch my videos and if you're new around here do consider liking sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe now these are all the, some of the local dala dala buses here in the town this is what it looks like the bus terminal is not that big but it definitely has the buses to take you to various areas these are some traders right here selling various produce like mangoes and different fish and stuff like that so this is a vibe here in Lindi welcome to Lindi town on the beautiful language of Kiswahili Karibuni Mji wa Lindi Lindi town is a southern Tanzanian coastal town and regional capital of the Lindi region located at the far end of the Lindi Bay on the Indian Ocean in southeastern Tanzania The Lindi town was founded in the 11th century by indigenous African peoples who traded along the coast with various peoples around the Indian Ocean as part of the indigenous African civilization. The previous name of the town is not commonly known. However, it was possibly named after one of the ancestors of the local Mwini or owners of the town. In the 17th century, the location was later renamed by Omani Arab colonizers as Lindi, meaning deep channel. You may be wondering, what is the economy like in Lindi town? Lindi town main economic activities are local government and municipal administration, fishing, coconut production and salt production. It is important to note the region was once an important sisal producing plantation area, especially in Kikwetu, surrounded the Lindi airstrip, 25 kilometers north of the town. Around 2012, Lindi was finally linked to Dar es Salaam by a continuous tarmac road, making Lindi accessible throughout the rainy season.
so this is Lindy guys and um, along this street you can see there are a lot of shops common feature I'm noticing when I visit the various coastal towns they do have a sleepy feel but it still maintains a sense of business when you walk along the streets nice laid-back feel guys you know if you're looking for that feeling of peace with a laid-back type of vibe then Lindy is definitely the place you have to visit one of the places you should certainly visit That's easy. Salam. 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 Fresh. It's a supermarket right here, Lindy Supermarket. One thing I like about the coastal towns and these regions, when it comes to getting fruits and vegetables, you have it in abundance, which is quite good, you know, especially if you're watching your diet and you want to maintain a healthy diet, it's very good, you know. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. One of the main junctions here in Lindy. And here you will find things like the Vodacom shop, which is on the left right here. You will also get the Airtel shop as well. So these are some of the air, uh, mobile networks quite popular in the city. And you also have Halotel. Now from what I've been told, I think there's a small market right near this junction, so I'm going to walk past and see. I do enjoy visiting markets. Now as I'm walking past some of the shops, I notice a lot of people are watching football. So in Tanzania, football or Americans say soccer is a very popular sport of choice for the people in the town, especially the, the men. Anytime a game's on, you'll find them in the bars, restaurants that has a television and they'll be watching the games from there. Assalamu alaikum.
السلام عليكم السلام عليكم كويما It's not a very big market, but you can definitely get a lot of um, fruits and vegetables. I'm seeing a lot of limes as well. Those who like lime juice, you may use it to clean your meat. Walk this way. Back here. Assalamu Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam Habari zenu? Salama. Habari zenu? Mimi ninafanya eh, filamu kwa eh, utalii leo. Eh, utalii. Unataka salimia tu audience yangu? Eh, naweza nikasalimia mimi. Habari, habari zenu. Safi kabisa. So, eh, sokoni kuko vipi siku hizi? Unaitwa nani? Yeah. Unaitwa nani? Mimi ndio yangu ndio Zakai. Mimi sio ni Sanga. Salamu alaikum. Ah, salamu na wewe. Habari zenu? Salam alaikum. 
السلام عليكم So that was just a little tour of the inside market there. notice in the distance there's a lot of coconut trees and like I said in the in, in the induction this is known as the coconut capital here in Tanzania so you find You see a lot of these um, businesses a lot when you uh, travel throughout various parts in Tanzania. That's a local pub right there. Now the word pub is something that is more used in England but to cut a long story short, it, a pub is basically like um, a bar basically. People go and have a drink, people have drinks there, alcoholic beverages. So this street here will lead me towards the NMB bank. I believe that's one of the main banks in town. One thing you'll notice about when you come to small towns like Lindy, everything is pretty much in walking distance you know you can walk to everywhere in terms of in the town and some of the streets may not be named there might there might not be a name for the streets but you know you can find places it's in walking distance to be honest So this is Lindy NMB Bank and here you can do things like currency exchange you can use the ATM to withdraw cash but there is a there, there, there is a charge when you um, withdraw cash from the ATMs here in Tanzania and it all depends on how much you'll be withdrawing as well These are all small businesses.
the streets are definitely clean and that's what I noticed with a lot of the coastal cities you will find that most places are generally clean when you walk the streets the buildings are a bit dated but it's still you can still feel the brilliance of this city I can tell in its heyday it would have been a, a really amazing place it still is and I still feel that vibe you know and it's still got that peaceful tranquility here in Lindy Assalamu alaikum. It's right opposite Imran petrol station. Uh, another bank, year two microfinance bank here in Lindy. I'm not sure why it's called that, but perhaps they had some significant influence or it may be as a recognition for their work, but it's, it's called Ghana Road. Ghana, and Ghana is a country in West Africa. So, pretty interesting. This building, I can tell it's a real um, dated colonial building here will have been something of significance in his heyday, I'm sure. Even some of these buildings that you see, you'll, you'll know it's from history. Some of them perhaps used to be like the colonial officers' um, residence where, where they all work, Germans and all of that. But today, you'll find many of the locals living in them. still maintain its traditional look since then. We have another TPD. Patel building. Patel. That, 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 that name is coming from the Indian subcontinent and you, you, you do, did have a lot of people from that region actually come to uh, live here and contribute to the society. So, very interesting.
How are you, sir? Unaongea Kiingereza? Samahani bwana. Doesn't want to talk. So this is the Hindu temple here in Lindi, Hindu Madir, Sanatan. And this is what it looks like. my way to the beach now and one of the popular features definitely of Lindy which is one of the main attractions is definitely the beach so just check it out see what it's like there's actually a few of them here in Lindy I'm just going to the one which is quite near the main town center it's literally a five minute walk from the bus terminal where you saw earlier A lot of wind in Lindy. Seem to be a church over there. So I'm hearing preaching and all of that. Seem to have some bars near the beach right here. And the sea is rough today. Wow. People are just chilling watching the football over there, you know, football. They love soccer in Tanzania. And similar to the beach in Pwani, what I like about these beaches is you, you have the beautiful sand and the water and surround you, you, you have like this kind of mountainous surroundings, you know, which is really nice. Give you a bit of that nature feel. There's some chairs over there where you can sit down as well. So this is pretty much the beach here guys. Now Tanzanians uh, doesn't generally swim that much, some do. It's not like a popular thing like in other countries swimming. But you would find people come on the beach to socialize and play sports and you can see right now some young men are enjoying a game of football.
Let's go! 